over Hello. a day, and this Hello. is Michael McGill Jr. Yeah. with us, it. talking about like the, giving us the tools we need to yes. get over it once and for good. Yes, uh, yeah, yeah. It's a process. It so, definitely is a process, but yeah. Let's start with this. What are the benefits of getting over something oh, and letting point. it go? Yeah. That is, well, we know psychologically that when we release things that harbor us and that hold us down. We know that our, our immune system is healthier. Mm -hmm. uh, our limbic system and our minds are healthier. We're able to have healthier relationships. We're able to release the baggage that we hold on. But we live in such a society that often tells us to immediately get over stuff without first unpacking the baggage. And we are Heal doomed. Yourself. Hey, right. But the reality is that we are doomed to recreate and perpetuate what we don't first evaluate. And so you can't just immediately Can you get that over down it. For me? No, you better yeah. oh, yeah, that was a mouthful. That. Let me go to <laughs> good. That. I need to remember yeah. that. But it's the truth. Think about how many folks go from relationship to relationship perpetuating right. the same baggage, beliefs, behavior, mm -hmm. symptoms. It's the same thing. When you don't unpack the baggage, you carry it and then it begins to stink. Samaya's with us too from um, was on the show and thank you so much. Thank and you. also Love and Hip Hop again back. Yes. And I was struck by something that you said when you were in the interview with Wisdom that you did whatever work, work you needed to right healing. so that's like mm -hmm. that inner work. so this is the proof yeah, yeah. That it you're better after I can it take you because the thing about right. it is that we often everybody think that thinks that it's going to be overnight right it healing, doesn't it's it not time. linear healing is a process and you can even what I've seen in my own healing journey is that on Tuesday I may feel good but on Thursday I may feel like a hot and mess and that's okay and right. that's okay but commitment is required yes. without commitment you cannot achieve anything think about it, yeah. even with your job right. being the best at everything that you do you have to commit if you do not commit, then not only are you half everything yourself, yeah. but you are also just a disservice to everyone that believes in you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And yeah. it's just well, not, yeah. yeah. And anyone can heal, but you have to commit. Yeah. It's so yeah. hard to do. I, for me, it feels like you had a big picture in mind. You yes. were going to be like a businesswoman, you were going to have your empire, yes. what you believed in, and you were just going to work on your stuff. Maybe that's the key, like having a mm -hmm. big goal yeah. to who you want to be, visualizing yeah. who you that's really a huge truly are, right? Because part yeah. of my healing, I believe in crystal healing, is spirituality and manifestation. Absolutely. Yeah. Meditation. Yeah. Yeah. So I would, when I would meditate, I would think about the bigger picture and like, this is where I envision myself. Mm -hmm. I envision myself not allowing people to rile me up. Yeah. Of course, in everyday life, we all get riled up. The kids, the, you know, being late for work, you know, whatever the case is. However, not allowing it to absorb into your daily yes. right. and yes. stay there. But, Putting that energy inside you. But what you go. just said, it's yeah. what, what we in counseling will call what we call cognitive behavior therapy. Meditation yes. is really mm -hmm. something that what we know from the research is we have two different types of nervous systems. If I can be a nerd, hashtag Please. nerdland. I, I love it. We <laughs> nerd talk. Have, we nerd love talk, it. nerdland, with, yes. thanks to Melissa Harris Perry. But it. we have the sympathetic nervous system, which is a nervous system that's all about fight, Fight free. So it's all about your adrenaline, all about let me let me respond, let me go off, let me pop off, let me respond to chaos. Then we have the parasympathetic nervous system that's all about homeostasis, rest, relaxation, learning how and for me a part of my healing journey is learning how to react to things or excuse me, respond to things mm -hmm. versus reacting, reacting in a negative way. Right. But it right. takes intentionality. You're literally have you're actually having to teach the brain how to create new neurological networks. We've been conditioned. Yeah, because right. we've Hardly. been conditioned to respond to things right. in such a toxic way and react. But how do I respond in a healthier, holistic way? I will right. tell you, I started seeing a therapist in April. Good for you. Good for That's you. my field and I go. Shame and go <laughs> talking about yeah. your issues. And sometimes... Yeah. There are underlying things that you don't realize are affecting Always. your current situation. It's, think about think about the 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 iceberg effect. Where on when you when you think about the iceberg in the ocean, you see the small part that's on the top, but the larger the the largest part of the iceberg is actually at the bottom. Got to heal from the bottom yes, up. Yes, and yeah. it's all these things that are the underbelly of our issue. So think about it. It's 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 the unconscious mind that that, that causes us to behave the way that we behave. Okay, well exactly. I have I have a I have a point in a. Question. Go ahead. Sure. <laughs> okay. So I feel like I am. We all have issues. We yeah. all have stuff, right. Right? right? But I feel like I was raised this way. Like yes. we had a dang on uh, pyramid that we would like my parents would sit under and meditate when I was a kid. Yeah. Wow. This, this is who I am. Oh, awesome. got the coolest this is upper. who I am, right? I love so this. so yeah. for me, I feel like I'm pretty centered. I know the the principles. Well, what about when somebody comes into your space mm. and they bring all that, you know, and they try to yeah. put right. that on you? So right. right. So 
the way that I look at things is like how others treat me is not a reflection of myself. Yeah, yeah. how yeah, I yeah. react yeah. is my responsibility. But how do you? Yeah. But you got to tighten that person up a little you bit, know, or they will continue so, to. Right, and right. a lot of times we don't realize there are energy vampires everywhere. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, there are. They are everywhere in <laughs> yeah in relationships, friendships. No, we're not saying that. Who we talking about? Who we got to about? Okay. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Nobody here, but you know. Well, the way that you handle it because it can happen in relationships. Yeah. I have dated a narcissist mm. and it took a long time of healing when I was in my path and I didn't I wasn't quite there yet but what that taught me is that I have to recognize the red flag yes. right and not paint a new picture okay yeah. that's a red flag I am not gonna lie to myself and say it's blue mm. yes that part. Okay. But did you try to did you try to fix that person, wanted, though? Right. Everything. How did you try to fix that person, real. though? I did try to help See, as that's much the, as I right, can. Right, right, right. But I'm not a fixer. I'm an empath. Yeah. And I have uh -huh. a very empathic, compassionate soul. And so I, I see the good in everyone. Yeah. Uh, but I can't help and, and heal the entire world if they're like not willing to heal. Yeah. But see, that is not is my history, responsibility. Here's right. what a history of trauma teaches us. When we have a right. history of trauma, we have been conditioned to believe that we have to apologize when our feelings are hurt. And we've been conditioned to believe that we have to fix people yes. and give them chance after chance yes. after chance because even when they done dismiss. Your whole life. And, and what we've been conditioned to but do. But even the peacemaker, like I'll be in the peacemaker and the one who's like, okay, it's okay. Yeah. Because I never, you know, I didn't have that personally. Yeah. Yeah. So I try to make everything okay. But sometimes yeah. you can't because that person needs to Right. You that can work. try because that's right? how I, I mean, even on the show, as you can see, I, yeah. I'm definitely just putting out my energy yeah. and yeah. I hope you receive it. And mm -hmm. if you don't, that's okay because maybe you're not ready for the journey yet. Right. You right. cannot push people in. In my spirituality, with my crystal healing and all that I do, mm -hmm. you don't push. Yeah. Well, Anything that you push is just not going to work. You right. just plant, but there's power in planting. And planting the seed. the seed. Yeah. And the thing about it is that you also get to meet people where they are, but sometimes you've got to leave them there. It's yeah. okay. To <laughs> it's okay. Nice to meet Okay. Some people right. so just good. are not in a space to receive the offering that right. you give. Right. And that's and fine. That's okay. And that's, that's what fine. it means to National Get Over It Day. Get over it. It's <laughs> yes. a process. Yes. 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 Hashtag get over National Get Over It Day. Yeah. One of the yes. most powerful things I've learned from therapy, they told me, it's a game of tug of war until you drop the rope and walk mm. away. Oh, yeah. yeah. If you're not engaging, that other person can't get to you. No, yeah. they can't. Yeah. And that's something that's very mm. important that I've learned. When you engage, you also absorb their toxins. Mm -hmm. yeah. Very true. Right. And so you don't yeah. want to. So, you know, okay, great. You know, we don't see eye to eye. That's yeah. fine. I appreciate your opinion, and that's it. And if they keep da 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 da, yeah. walk away. Yeah. You don't engage. You're not wrong yeah. with it. And they're not getting your reaction. They yeah. don't deserve your time. Right, right, I'm just, I'm I know. You're just, you're just, I'm just, I'm just, I'm like, there's such positive energy on this yeah. side. There's so much positive energy. Yeah. I'm just like, yeah. Yeah. Right. this is a day where, like, you know, we come home for the weekend. There's stresses out there. Yes. There's yes. so yes. much stress. Yes. And it's hard. And the news is bad news. It's, it's talking bad. about the coronavirus, right. which we can't control. Right. And, and, yeah, right. you know, the stock right. market's right. entangles. And everybody's worried about We can control. What if we focus more on that stuff? Right. So Marcus on Facebook has a question. How important is forgiveness? Oh. Oh. That's a big Even one. Even though that person does not deserve it. But see, oh, let me, let me, let's you unpack this. Forgive yourself let's first. unpack this. Two things. What you just said, too. So it's two things. One, self-forgiveness is huge. Yeah. I think yes. if we oh, practice oh, yeah. more self-forgiveness, we are more inclined okay. to offer compassion to other people. Because yes. what you said was a very powerful point earlier in that, and I'll, I'll, I'll kind of make my own twist to it. More yeah. often than not, if we see people as the product of their environments, if we see that broken people make broken choices, mm. I'm more inclined to be able to see them from a place of empathy and yes. not a place of judgment. Yes. When I forgive, I'm releasing myself from the emotional umbilical cord of the toxicity. Mm -hmm. Forgiveness doesn't mean that I have to invite them into my home, mm -hmm. I have to have dinner, I have to be okay with their behavior. Forgiveness doesn't mean I condone what you do. It right. simply says for the sake of my soul, right. my psyche, my health, I'm gonna release myself and set a boundary. I can forgive you. I think we've been bamboozled to believe that forgiveness is synonymous with reconciliation. Mm -hmm. and it's not. I okay. don't have to reconcile to forgive. Mm -hmm. Forgiveness says I'm freeing you to get your healing so that I can get my healing. Forgiveness does not require reconnection. It doesn't. Right, right, right. It doesn't. Right. It doesn't. Okay. That's I a good that question. Answered. I hope that answered it. And it's hard. It is. To forgive so but, but remember, so though, also, forgiveness is a process. Yeah. I can forgive you on Monday, but then be having bitterness on Wednesday. <laughs> and we and got that's to okay. Give the grace right. and the space yeah. to show up yeah. and be where we are. Yes.
That's what say. therapy's about. It's the grace and the faith. I don't think I know. Therapy, really. Are you loving <laughs> <having motivation, friend? laughs> How can I help someone? So let, let's say I, I think I'm in a good space. Yeah. Yeah. But okay. I have a friend who maybe I see is, is giving me a lot of these signals. Like yeah. They're giving me a lot of the I'm sorry's when I know they don't need to be. Kind mm. of thing. How can I help someone start their own journey of mm. self-healing? That's such a powerful point. And what I often tell people, my friends, my family, is that I'm not here to therapize you because you're not on my couch. <laughs> <laughs> but I do believe in the power of what we call holding sacred space. Yeah. You know, how often are you in spaces and places, and perhaps, Allison, you can even speak more mm -hmm. to this, but you're in spaces and places where you talk about your issue, you talk about your challenge, and folks regularly say, oh, get over it. Oh, yeah. And meeting the good intention. You know, right. oh, Allison, you're, you're complaining or having a complaint. You learn that sharing as children. Your right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. You're sharing your experience about an issue you have within your marriage. And the first mm -hmm. thing I say is, girl, at least you got a man, because half a DCA right. got right. nothing. <laughs> So we unknowingly <laughs> right. discount people's experience right. Right. and we debunk it versus yeah. holding space that says, tell me more. Mm -hmm. How can I support yeah. you? Open what is it up. that I can do for you? Or sometimes the best thing we can do is listen, validate, and say, I believe in you. Let's focus on next steps. Because you might holding have worse space. problems, but that doesn't mean oh, her problems mean are not yes. right. yeah. Because I that's what empathy is. Empathy yeah. is being able to perspective take. Take the perspective of another and sit with them. But sitting with people's pain is uncomfortable. Yes, it we is. want to fix it and solve it and do and mm -hmm. fix and heal I'm and me and but, but affirmations too. So yeah. Validating someone's feelings is important. I Very much so. I validate your feelings. Right. Yeah. I acknowledge your feelings. I'm not judging. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah Judgment yeah. does not exist in my heart. And yeah. sometimes you have to just let people vent and mm -hmm. that's okay. However, people continuously dumping mm -hmm. their yeah. problems yeah. on you point. Yeah. is a boundary you need to shed. So. That part, yeah. That's, that a, boundary. That's, That's a boundary. That's a boundary. That's very important. Is. Emotional dumping is a real thing. It is a real thing. And that brings we have to end down. our conversation. Yes. I'm sad. Oh, we we got to end it. it. <laughs> Look, therapy, but I like how you said removing the stigma and the shame against yeah. therapy. If you go through There's life, nothing wrong you need with therapy. Talk to someone. Social media. How do you get, how do people get to you social media? You can find me at Samaya Reese. That's S-O-M-A-Y-A-R-E-E-C-E. -E -E. And Michael? Yeah, Michael McGill Jr. or at McGillSpeaks.com. Love it. Michael right. Jr. <laughs> Thank you. Do we say amen? I feel like we do. We do. Amen. 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 I say amen. Amen. over it day. day. <laughs> <laughs> thanks, everybody. Feeling good now. Thanks. You guys are great. Thank mm -hmm. you so much. Thank you. Yeah, Thank absolutely. You so much. Yeah. I didn't know you were. This is great. Yeah. yeah. This is my life. Well, I don't believe that. <laughs>